Hey folks, welcome back once again to Harley Day Rider, your good old friend HDR, here in the cold, frigid weather of Pennsylvania. Today happens to be March the 13th, and we woke up this morning to snow. Uh, it was kind of a nice day yesterday. I actually went down and hosed both of the cars off, so I got the salt and stuff off our cars. Uh, and then we woke up and there was a little bit of snow on it, maybe just a quarter inch, but it was something. And uh, it's just keeping us out of the riding season. Our normal riding season in Pennsylvania starts in April. Uh, some guys wait until May until they get the roads in better order, better shape. And then it goes through. We like to stretch it into November, but usually by the end of October, we're usually wrapping up our riding season. But this year for myself and Mrs. HDR, I actually made a purchase and it just came in the mail today and I wanted to share that with everybody. I know this is different than our normal videos, but it gives me a chance to see you folks and it gives you a chance to uh, uh, jump into my, uh, my little studio here. Actually behind me, if you can see this, uh, we'll bring this up as much as possible here. That picture right there on uh, that particular computer is myself and Mrs. HDR. Uh, going down the, the roads, uh, probably it looks like with all the corn, maybe uh, like Idaho, Illinois, or somewhere through that area, uh, on our trip out to Wyoming. That was on the way to Wyoming. Uh, this total studio right here, uh, I set this up quite a while ago. Uh, I've done YouTube videos for a long time. Obviously, you can see the microphone here um, because I do a lot of in-studio stuff here. But anyway, just to let you know, this is what I edit on. Uh, this is Final Cut Pro. Uh, this is two 27 inch IMAX is what I use to uh, to create my videos, my content for you, for you guys to watch on YouTube. I come up here once I'm done uh, riding for the day, put the video footage on there, and then I can uh, zip it down and uh, you know do all my editing on it and make it uh, worthwhile for you. But that's not today's video. Today's video we're talking about very simply a new purchase. What was the new purchase? The new purchase is the Cena 20. Yes. Um, I happened to find this at Cycle Gear this week. Uh, actually, Mrs. HDR found it. She goes, hey, wasn't, weren't you wanting these things? And um, so I was able to purchase the uh, 20S. This is a dual set, uh, and it's an upgrade. The upgrade that we had from last year um, was very simply. So um, I, as you said, never even took them out of the box yet. I mean, obviously, I just got it today. But I'm going to be putting this on my helmets. The main helmet for motive logging that a lot of you uh, folks hear is um, with this particular camera. This is, uh, I bought this a long time ago when I started motive logging. Uh, this is the Drift Ghost HD. And what I like about the Drift is the way that it mounts on the side. And I know Cena just came out with a camera that mounts on the side of your helmet. But it just simply clips onto the side mount, if you can see that. And it shoots out of the side. That's why you see the side of the helmet as I'm going down the road. I do have a wired microphone in here. And I just plug it in and I'm good to go. So I know a lot of you have asked about my camera. That is my primary camera. I also uh, last season picked up a GoPro. This is the Hero 3 Plus. So this, I mean the Hero. The GoPro uh, Hero 3 Plus is what this camera is. And... Um, I like it. I enjoy it. I haven't mastered it as well as my uh, drift. But if you want a motive log, uh, or if you want to use a Cena, I suggest a full face helmet. And the reason I suggest a full face helmet is because the chin guard obviously keeps the wind off your face. So I mean, keeps the wind out of the microphone. Uh, so that way, people can hear you better. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of you folks out there can tell the difference between when I wear my uh, my three quarter helmet. I guess it's three quarter, um, and this helmet, you can tell the difference of the audio. This is my uh, helmet that I wore out to South Dakota, and um, this is a Bell helmet. It was made. It's made by the Bell Corporation, um, and it also has a, a plastic piece that I don't wear all the time on the front that, that magnetizes on there. Uh, I think you look like Hannibal Lecter going down the road, so I don't wear it. But um, if you put the helmet on. Uh, it's interesting. It looks kind of like it's like a German helmet, though. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's very comfortable. It's very lightweight, very well padded inside, and very very comfortable. It's a Bell helmet. Uh, I don't know the exact um, model of this helmet, 
And I probably should have that for you. Um, but anyway, look it up. The bell helmet with the uh, the chin guard. You'll see it on, on the websites. Any, anybody that sells bell helmets. But uh, I wore it. And this is my Cena boom microphone. It was just hanging out in the wind as I was going down the road. And I was able to talk to Mrs. HDR on the back of the bike. Where he was able to chit chat. Through my special offer to all of you watching this video. And all my videos. Uh, we used the SMH 10 Cena's and what's nice about those is I bought the extra uh, piece <clears throat> the extra mounting bracket here with the boom microphone and the speakers <clears throat> excuse me I paid like $65 extra for one set and the reason I did that is I didn't want to have to remove it from this helmet and pull on my full face uh, and Mrs. HDR's is always on her helmet so that's why those are on there that's why I bought those we have the set right here of SMH 10s. So this is the set of SMH 10s. You can link them to your phone. Uh, you can play music through these things. And uh, like I said, what's nice about it too is sometimes if I'm lost, I'll say, hey Siri, give me directions too. And she'll say, do you want to map those? And I say, yes. I don't even touch my phone. I just talk right through the Cena's and it gives me turn-by-turn -turn navigation into my headset, into my helmet. Uh, these are special to you. I don't need these. I don't want to box these up and put these on a shelf. They're too valuable. They work really great. But these, this set plus three of the helmet mounts, or if you're just looking for helmet mounts, I'm going to let everything go for, uh, we'll say, um, $200 and you know you pay for the shipping and we'll talk about the shipping I'll take them down to the post office and get them weighed but yeah $200 is unbelievable I paid a lot more than that for these uh, but I mean to be honest with you they're used they haven't been dropped everything's great on them they work great the buttons are solid still and everything's perfect I have all the charging cables for them so you'll be good to go uh, so again that's you know $200 you can't go wrong I know a lot of you are just starting out out there in mode of logging and uh, so you want to be able to use those things. Okay, folks. So I'm going to wrap this up and uh, just want to uh, bring that out there to you. So uh, until we get on the motorcycle and start riding, I will say thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to hit that like button. And I'll say as always, Harley Day Rider is going to be down and out in the frigid, very frigid out there, southwestern Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching this unboxing with me and showing you the new uh, Cena's and if you want to purchase the uh, the SMH 10's by all means please uh, message me send me a comment <clears throat> and I'll get back to you we'll, we'll talk on Facebook somehow we'll email each other and we'll work, work out all the details uh, thanks again folks and I will talk to you next time take care and bye for now